Japan, Guam, and me. Good afternoon. My name is Rebecca Stephenson. I'm a professor emerita at the University of Guam in anthropology. It goes back a very long time. As a small child, I was interested in faraway places. I lived in Minnesota, a small town, about 10,000 people, with the public library. We went there often, and I could be found in the faraway places section. And that included Japan many, many times. Oh, there's so much. People are friendly and approachable. You get a sense of people interested in visitors. The sceneries are lovely. The care with which the place is looked after by, I would assume, local people is noticeable. There's a sense that you can breathe and feel at home. One feels it's proper to respond in kind and look relaxed and energetic as you come and go and look like you're appreciating the place when you certainly are. In so many ways, especially because, as I mentioned, I'm a cultural anthropologist. So there was so much to learn about, for example, fabric and the sorts of fabrics that are found and how some fabrics are used in certain situations and not in others. So think about behavior of children. Do children run around freely? Do they stay together and acknowledge each other warmly but not with hitting and fighting and any such thing? Um, a sense of people who care about their community their town, their village, and they value it, and they would like you as a visitor to also share some of that experience. I would like to further find ways to remind people here that Japan is close to Guam, that we have many aspects of the way we live in common, that yet still there's much to learn from each other in small groups and one by one. We can go with groups from one's social club or academic uh, group, some such thing, or you can find someone who you've met and you ask if you can at some point meet them and their family in Japan, most likely they'll say yes. Yeah. There are a variety of ways like that. Keep that interest and find ways to go there and spend some time and experience personally the uniqueness of Japan as a country and the uniqueness of Japanese people. This doll is from Okinawa. From Okinawa? A cousin of my mother's when we were just kids was stationed there in the military with the U.S. military forces. My mother asked him, if he could please bring us a doll. Here she is. We named her Fujiko. We never played with her. We never took the clothes off. We sat her in a special place and looked at her. And now and again, held her like I am now and feeling so lucky that a doll from such a faraway place could be with us. Beautiful. How old is Fujiko? Oh, she's pretty near to 100 years old now because we were just small kids, my sister and I, when our uh, nephew was assigned to Okinawa. So before long, he had picked out this dolly and the other one, but she looks not quite so Japanese-like. This one. This one is wearing some other clothes. She's a Japanese baby doll. Oh, really? Yes. The two were bought at the same time because uh, we had asked for a dolly we could play with and a dolly we could just admire. So these both were given to us in Minnesota at the same time when our cousin was in Okinawa. 
and as you can see, they are uh, much loved and very well looked after. So many years. Yeah, yeah. Almost 100 years old. It looks just like Well, especially Fujiko here, we had mm. to make sure that she was well treated. This little one has some little scars here and there. We played with her, took her clothes off. <laughs> My sister and I, there were just the two of us girls, and we have a younger brother also. But anyway, of interest to both my sister and I was Japan for reasons like this. Knowing that it was a place where our military men were serving, and that we read about it in very fine books like Richard Halliburton, who wrote books to read and to think about. So somehow Japan was always there as a mystery somehow, but as a real place that I would like very much to go and see. And my sister felt the same way. And she's been there several times. We've been there together as well. And then thanks to Hiro and his family's kindness, we've stayed at home in Japan with their family and they have helped us learn and enjoy special features of Japan. Japan, Guam, and me. Japan Cultural Exploration in Guam.